People hoping to use the rail network this Christmas break are being warned they may face difficulty getting back home. Major engineering works will begin on Christmas Day until the new year. Emilia Papadopoulos is at King's Cross Station with more details. Why is it going to be so bad, Emilia? Well, this is all part of a huge £200 million investment programme to upgrade the whole network by uh, Network Rail. And the reason they're doing it at Christmas is because it's the least busiest time on the train, though it will mean a lot of disruption between Christmas and New Year. So most of the work will be carried out on the Christmas Day and Boxing Day on 2,000 work sites across the country. And usually the trains are a lot less than half full, carrying 2 million passengers a day rather than the 4.5 million that they would take on a normal working day. But it will be very disruptive around the holiday times and a lot of people trying to get back to work or travel around between the Christmas and New Year period might face a lot of problems. So with the work that we're doing that's taking place uh, outside of Christmas and Boxing Day, we've known for a long time we're doing it, so there have been a comprehensive com communications plans for, uh, for all the different packages of work to give people as much information as we, as we feasibly can um, so they can plan their journeys in advance and work out how they're going to get where they're going. Well, there is some good news, and that's that Network Rail say that 90% of services up and down the country won't be affected at all, and most of the work should be completed by Boxing Day, whether provided, because as we saw last year, that could create a lot of problems. Now, there are alternative train services there to help people out during these times, and National Express also announced today that they would be putting on 45,000 extra seats to help during the times of disruption. Emilia, thanks very much.